Hi everybody, this is Serb Share back another day with another unboxing. It's been a while since I did an, an unboxing video. Uh, I've done a lot of car videos lately and on that subject when I were away during the Easter I realized that I really need another sneaker bag, another shoe bag. Uh, this one was the first that I bought and I believe it was the first on the market. Uh, this is the one that Mayer did. I think I have something in here. Mayer did with a company. Mayer being the world famous sneaker collector. And for the money it was good. Uh, the quality was good or is good. Absolutely. It's just that the, the compartment for the shoes are way too small for me. So the ID was good and so you close in the three pair of shoes in the, in the compartments and then you can have whatever you want on top. Uh, but for my big shoes, it just wasn't good enough. And then a couple of years ago, I bought this one. And this one is great. Um, we have the compartments on the inside with the removable walls. So you can fit four sneakers. My sneakers, let me take, are size 12 and it looks like they are too long for the shoe for the bag but it's not they fit well so this is this is my favorite bag so i actually only use this and then the rest of the shoes i just put them in the in the shoe bags and then i'm going to show you what i mean with a shoe bag because now it feels like i call everything a shoe bag this is what I mean with a shoe bag. These from Shoe Shame are great. I have a bunch of them. So I use this for four pair of shoes uh, and then these for the other, the rest of the shoes, one pair each or maybe even one shoe per bag and you just put them in a standard bag like a Louis Vuitton Kippur or something. Uh, so I did, I realized and decided I need more of these because these are great. I like the sturdiness. I like the square box. They are easy to pack. They are easy to fit in the car. And uh, if I remove the walls, I can fit one small pair of shoes extra. And I realized that on Amazon, there are a bunch of these bags with different names. Um, that one was quite expensive uh, it's a couple of years old i have i have a video about that one i'm going to show you a link to you uh, so i used google and found that on amazon there are a bunch of similar bags very similar much cheaper so i just decided to get the cheapest one uh, this bag from krone Calpalsmos something, of course, of course I'm going to link it to you, was the cheapest one with $74 or so maybe $75. For me, getting it to Sweden, the shipping was expensive, so I decided to get two bags, but more, more on that later. So I want to show you this bag, and I'm actually going to to compare it with my older one uh, because it's not exactly the same so let me uh, set it off it's quite easy we have the bottom we have the walls three of them so the size are the same uh, on the inside, we have the same compartments, it's just mirrored. Um, here we have the, the strap, I like this one. So, two mesh compartments, one on the side. The inside, 
of course I'm going to show you better later or on b-roll the sizing is the same this material feels different in the ad it says it was maybe not waterproof but water repellent I don't know if this one is uh, it's the same synthetic feeling but yeah so on this side we have an outer compartment on them both. I don't think I've ever used this one. And the other side is the same, I'm guessing. Yes. Pocket on the outside. On the front, we have the large compartment. So this one is different. So on the cheap bag we have a large compartment compartment like this like you usually are on the bag where you can put your laptop or whatever on this one we have a side pocket that I also never have oh that's it so we used to have this small pocket on the front so this was much better with a large large compartment the iPad or whatever uh, and then on the back side here we have an outer compartment that is quite large but that's it it's just a compartment on this one we have this where you can put this on your um, suitcase on wheels so you put the back of the suitcase through there so it stays on or you can just close it and use it as a compartment just like this one so so far the cheaper one is better on the inside we have a pocket and we have a shoulder strap that is padded on the inside of this one we have the pocket as well but no velcro just an open compartment and the shoulder strap are less padded yeah so my conclusion is that the expensive bag feels much cheaper uh, the cheap bag feels more well thought of thought through uh, we have the larger of the pocket that the expense expense one doesn't have i don't remember the price but it was 200 something euro this one was 75 dollars and we have the small compartment on the back where you can put it on your uh, travel bag and handle is padded and even there we have more padded this very very thin one so I absolutely like the newer cheaper one from uh, from Amazon so my plan was to do a giveaway of the other bag uh, that is exactly like this one and the giveaway is only going to be for my friends in Solo Crew. So for you guys in Solo Crew, share this video and comment. Tell me why you need a sneaker travel bag. But I am going to give you this one. I'm going to keep the two new ones so I have the matching. Uh, my plan was to have this as a main bag and have one of the newer ones as a backup when i really need more than four pairs of shoes with me or five with the ones on feet but now of course i'm going to keep the two new ones uh, and give away the old one it is still there were no dirt no nothing it looks just as good as new so uh, yeah if you want it share the video comment let me know why you need it and this one from Krona 
something sounds like a Greek name. I like it. Do we have no one more thing that the cheap door the expensive bag doesn't have? You don't have a base plate. Uh, you don't need it because it's sturdy, but the cheap one has a very thin base plate, but it is we have a base plate anyway. So this one is much better. Now when it comes to shipping it to Sweden, so the bag was $75 or 74 or something. Shipping was 25 something and then tax, taxes, etc. etc. For, for two bags, I paid 300 euros. Uh, so it ended up costing me a bit, but I actually think I paid the same for this. I know it was at least 200 euro plus shipping taxes whatever so I can almost say that the two bags cost as much as this, as, as this one but then again I've had this for a couple of years they were first with it um, yeah development cost whatever and this one is a cheap one from Amazon that I absolutely would prefer absolutely I think this is it I'm gonna do some b-roll put it in in the video uh, I'm happy with it it was better than expected absolutely it was so good that I don't even like my old bag anymore that I really did like before uh, so this is going to be the giveaway bag and I'm gonna keep the two new ones so like the video subscribe comment and if you see on youtube there's a new heart thing where you can i don't know give me money i don't know how it works but if you want to try that out try that out so for my solo crew members of course i accept new members just hit us up on facebook soul love crew uh, comment share Tell me why I need this bag, this bag. And for you guys that want to buy this bag, I'm gonna put the link in the description and in my blog post. Thanks for watching. I forgot to show you the most important thing, uh, how it looks with shoes. I am a size US 12 and the Air Jordan 13 is quite a big shoe. And you can see I easily fit four of them. If I want, I can just remove one of the walls. If I want to have a basketball here, sometimes I put a sweatshirt and a jacket here. Uh, so you can do whatever you want with these modular walls. And sometimes I have wider shoes and smaller shoes with me. Uh, so, and they fit no problem at all. Air Jordan 13, four pairs, size US 12. No problem at all. And here we have them both. So, Air Jordan 13, the ones are no problem at all. There are a lot of space for the ones. I like this. I like them both matching and yeah, I found my new favorite sneaker bag. And the storage is no problem. I just fold them together the same way they came uh, package and yeah fits like a normal bag two of them I just realized something with the old one uh, even though it doesn't have a base plate when I take these out it still doesn't fold because you have some kind of uh, reinforcement on the side but so yeah so that's another point for the new cheaper ones